The coastal area of Belize is an outstanding natural system consisting of the largest barrier reef in the northern hemisphere, illustrating the evolutionary history of the reef development with approximately 450 sand and mangrove clays, coastal lagoons, and estuaries all confined within the barrier. Described in this area, Belize's barrier reef consists of a total of 178 terrestrial plants and 247 taxa of marine flora, with over 500 species of fish, 65 celestrian corals, 45 hydroids, and 350 mollusks, plus a great diversity of sponges, marine worms, and crustaceans. This area harbors a number of different species, including the West Indian manatee, the green turtle, the hawksbill turtle, the loggerhead turtle, and the American crocodile. Designated as a World Heritage Site since 1996, the Belize Barrier Reef Reserve System is quite significant due to its exceptional natural beauty and essential ongoing ecological and biological processes. The Belize Barrier Reef Reserve System contains the most important and significant natural habitats for the conservation of biological diversity. As mentioned before, Belize is the largest barrier reef in the northern hemisphere, where tourists can visit for coal made islands, among them 500 species of fish and 1,050 bay diving spots, known as the Great Blue Hole. Out of the 981 properties, included in UNESCO World Heritage List, Belize is categorized as endangered. For reasons ranging from political instability to irresponsible tourism, the reason why the fish, coal, and other marine nature is still in danger is due to the development in the area, and the intensive mangrove cutting that has removed food source and shelter for marine life. The destruction does not end there. Due to over-harvesting done by local fishing ships, the population of many coral reef marine species were reduced drastically. As fishermen overfish, their fishing equipment, such as fishing nets, hooks, and spears, can easily damage the coral. This caused damaging ecologically important habitats of many endangered marine species. One of such endangered species is Nassau grouper, which is already has made its way onto the red list of IUCN. To make things worse, as snapper and grouper population reduced, fishermen has targeted Nassau grouper as well. Potential solutions that can be taken to help solve this problem are as follows. The government of Belize could work with the local managers and fishermen to create a balanced conservation with sustainable use of marine resources along the reef, while putting in place officers and patrols ensuring that they carry out the new laws with solid enforcement. Due to Belize's new regulations that were set up for the protection of the Nassau grouper and their spawning sites, these endangered species have not suffered great losses thus being protected from extinction as well as being protected from prey like the parrotfish and other grazers. Also, raising public awareness to value of the ocean and its preservation with the help of protected zones where humans cannot come in contact with the reef barrier could also play a significant role in the protection of the already endangered species. Banning fishing in the reserves, such as in Saltwater Cay, known for its unique reefs, marine turtles and manatees, and in the Pelican Cays, a hotspot for rare sponges and sea squirts will increase their chances for survival and will reduce chances for extinction.